Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to PWR Hashtag Hot Tag. Damian Nelson along with Linda Kay and David Hero. We're here in Studio C. And uh, in between Primetime Wednesday and Primetime tomorrow night, Saturday, of course, on Wednesday, we talked about the unfortunate news, the sad passing of uh, Paul Bearer, who uh, passed away on Tuesday night at the age of 58. And we have a tribute to him, which you could view at our website, pwrshow.com. That on last night's edition of Primetime. But tonight, hot tag. Paul Bearer has been trending on Twitter all week long, whether it be RIP Paul Bearer or Paul Bearer for the WWE Hall of Fame. WWE Hall of Fame, of course, happening in conjunction with WrestleMania in just a few weeks. And WWE actually started this and or fed into it with a tweet they sent out on Wednesday afternoon, which says to the universe, some one million followers, retweet if you think hashtag Paul Bearer should be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. So that's our topic for this week on Hot Tag. We'll start with you, David Hero, your thoughts on uh, this speculation. Well, definitely Paul Bearer does, does absolutely belong in the Hall of Fame, but not this year's Hall of Fame. I think New York is already booked and taken care of. Paul Bearer is from the Gulf Coast. He's from Alabama. Mm -hmm. Why not do his Hall of Fame uh, where all of his family and friends can be a part of it next year in New Orleans? That is the best situation for Paul Bear. Let's face it, Undertaker has a big match with CM Punk. Does that mean Undertaker finally breaks character? You can trust about the Hall of Fame this year? I don't think so. Save it for next year. Give it the proper buildup. Don't rush it. You don't need to rush it. The guy has their credentials. By putting him in so soon almost makes it not as special. Absolutely. Linda Kay, does it make it not as special going so yeah, soon? I mean, the speculation about him possibly being the Hall of Fame, I mean, obviously that, that came up after his death this week, but um, as far as the timing, I agree with, you know, everyone, like, just not the right year. It's already, as you said, fully, you know, packed for this year's Absolutely. Hall of Fame, but just the proper timing in New Orleans next year, as we just discussed um, with his family all there, and just more build up to that. I mean, obviously everybody wants to see him into the Hall of Fame and do it proper. Obviously he will, yes, but not this year. Well, a lot of people talking about it, especially after, as I said, WWE sending out that tweet and a couple of people even in the uh, the field that we're in covering professional wrestling on television. A uh, friend of the show, Arda O'Cal, at Arda O'Cal on Twitter said, uh, Paul Bearer was going into the WWE Hall of Fame one day, no question. Imagine the scene if he goes in this year and if Undertaker inducts him. Linda. Well, one year that will happen, but like you said before, can't break character going into WrestleMania this time around, but if anybody was to induct Paul Bear, it'd definitely be Undertaker or... And Kingston. Damian Nelson, if Undertaker does induct Paul Bear this year in the Hall of Fame, that means your prediction of CM Punk defeating the dead man is completely off base because you know that match will be dedicated to old Uncle Paul. It's not a prediction, it's a fact that CM Punk will defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania oh 29. The Undertaker will be 20 and well, 1. Well, you still got a few weeks to think of some Gitas how we're gonna do this. That'll be fine, no worries. Uh, another one, this comes from uh, at Cena, B-I-T-W, best in the world on Twitter. Paul Bearer should have been a Hall of Famer a long time ago. Uh, WWE induct Paul Bearer in the Hall of Fame class of 13. He deserves it. Now, David, Let's be real here, Paul Bearer became the forefront of a lot of people's minds due to his untimely passing on Tuesday. Do you agree or do you disagree that he should have been in the Hall of Fame earlier? Oh no, I honestly believe that they were probably saving it from to go in with Undertaker whenever that happens, mm -hmm. that they'd go in as a cohesive unit. Unfortunately, things didn't work out that way. I think they still might wait. Who knows, Taker might retire after this year and next year they go in together. But right now, don't rush Paul Bearer. It just doesn't, it's not as quite as special. It's, you don't like things when they're all hot-shotted and rushed, and that's exactly what they would be doing with Paul Bear on this one. Let's uh, compare apples to apples, Linda. I believe it was the year after Eddie Guerrero had an unfortunate uh, passing that he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Was that too quick? Was that too fast? And uh, if so, is this a similar situation? No, I mean, a year later, it's it, enough time. And if they were planning on, like we said, at WrestleMania 30, New Orleans, it would be enough time to build Damian, it up. Let's not forget, Eddie Guerrero died in October. Yeah, there was much more time. Much more time for yeah. people to heal and, and, and whatnot, you know. No, yeah, that's a, that's a different apple or orange, whatever you want to look at it. 
I think we almost want to leave this conversation with a tweet that we got from or that we saw from at Apex McCabe. Really hope Paul Bear gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. He deserves it. Hashtag rest in peace. I would agree. No need to rush into this thing. Let's do it right. Let's not hot shot it. He was going to be a Hall of Famer regardless, as many have said. And let's just make sure the timing's right to do it so it is not viewed as something that is being sensationalized. Um, and I would venture to say, as you talked about with Eddie Guerrero, October the year before, if this had happened at a different time and we weren't in WrestleMania season, there might be less speculation or less desire for a fan outcry, if you will, to put him into the Hall of Fame. But the fans have been tremendous in showing their support for Paul Bearer. RIP Paul Bearer trending all night on Tuesday, all day on Wednesday. The untimely death of a legend in professional wrestling who, as we said, deserves to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. And we'll, si we'll see and find out if that indeed is to happen. Final thoughts on uh, this topic, Linda. Um, just, I mean, it, it was really great seeing all the tweets Tuesday night and Wednesday from all the superstars from, you know, every different federation. I mean, Everyone chiming in. We talked yeah. about it last hour on Wednesday night show as well, Impact Wrestling. It, it, and that's the good thing about these moments. I don't want to sound harsh, but that's the... The, uh, the, the touching thing about these moments is the business comes together as maybe it should more often when you have these surprise situations well, that pop up and you lose a, a legend. You had the tribute on TNA Impact Wrestling mm -hmm. last night, uh, ESPN tweeting about it, TMZ, Paul Bear is pop culture. Yeah. That's the Undertaker's manager. Mm -hmm. Most people know who Paul Bear is just by looking at the picture and by hearing that, 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 that voice he would you know, squeal. Oh! Yes, and you know what? May Paul Bear and his family find Godspeed and may all rest in peace. That's this week's hot tag, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you tomorrow night on Primetime Saturday night when our guest is from Impact Wrestling, one half of Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels. For David Hero, for Linda Kay, this is Damian Nelson saying we'll see you tomorrow on Primetime.